check on these worms and see what's going on. So we haven't done a video of the worms recently and I've been out of the country for a couple of weeks and I've had some news story orientations to do with my kid. So let's go and check on these worms. And you can see I have a lot of castings built up in this bin. This is the Riker bin. And so now it's time for me to get this bin ready for harvest. I'm going to start doing that by moving all the castings over to one side. And that way I can put all new bedding on the other side. Now if you happen to notice this side was a little bit lower to begin with on this side because I had pulled casting down in here to come into my sweet potato bin. You can see there's lots of worms in here. And this bin's really overdue for a good harvest, I think. Alright, you saw it. That should be pretty good, I think. You get started anyways. So First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay a piece of bag in here on the bottom. Add in some fresh bedding of leaves. And I'll give them a nice good feeding in, in this area on top of the bag and the leaves. This week's blend is banana, peas, cabbage, some lemon and orange peels, and there's probably something else in there. <laughs> So anyways, that should be enough food to kind of get them going. And I'll add a little bit more bedding on top of there. Now this bedding is pretty dry. And this bin has a lot of moisture in it. So hopefully all the new leaves will help draw out some of that excess moisture. There, that should be pretty good. And I'll put a little bit of the existing worm castings on the top. They'll lend some biology to all these leaves and hopefully draw a little bit of moisture overall. So it kind of gives the worms a little head start uh, breaking down this material. All right, let's check on the mariner bin. On the mariner bin, uh, you can see I got something growing in here and that's from a potato, a couple of potatoes I had threw in uh, this bin. And they started growing. I'll just take all that vegetation off and then we'll move that stuff over to the side. This bin could also be harvested and the texture of this bin is really nice and the moisture level is just where I want it to be. So I think I could go ahead and do a harvest on this already. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and just like the other bin I'm going to Move all the materials over to one side. Pine cone there. I'll go ahead and lay a bag on the bottom of this bin too. Add fresh bedding in in the form of leaves. Get a nice supply of leaves going on this. Dump in the rest of the food. I didn't do this on the other bin, but I should do it here. Is add some powdered eggshell for grit. I'll also add in some expired cornmeal. Now I'm going to do that on the other bin too. I'll go back and open that up and do that. And add some more leaves in here. And just put a little bit of the castings on the top just to kind of get this kick started and we'll call this bin done. Well, I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time.